Hi, it's Carl here for ProVTV, and today we're taking a look at the Osmo. So this is a new stabilized handheld camera from DJI, which is basically their X3 camera from the popular Inspire One drone with the same three axis gimbal system, but mounted onto a handle for handheld shooting. And it is the same camera as the Inspire, but DJI have made a couple of tweaks to make it work handheld. So they've allowed it to focus closer and they've adjusted the gimbal settings so that it works better in your hand rather than mounted on a drone. Now the Osmo is completely reliant on a Wi-Fi connection to your smartphone. So they have this mount here on the side to hold it for you. And it really is quite solidly built, which is great since you're trusting it with your expensive smartphone while you're out and about shooting. So if you're waving this about while you're shooting, the last thing you want is your phone falling out. So on the phone, you connect to the Wi-Fi on the Osmo and open the DJI Go app. So now your phone is essentially a touchscreen monitor for the camera. You can see what you're shooting, you can control all the settings and even angle the camera by dragging around your finger on the screen. Now, I was quite worried initially about there being a delay between the camera and the phone due to the Wi-Fi. But it's definitely there, but I didn't find it got in the way while shooting. So luckily it doesn't seem to be that much of an issue. Now the footage is stored on a micro SD card here on the side of the camera. This is a bit of a shame. Nobody likes dealing with micro SD cards really, and I do worry that they might damage the card, or even worse, the port on the side of the camera when you're putting the card in and out of the camera when you're taking your footage off. So I wish they'd put something a bit more substantial than micro SD. But it is just one of those necessary trade-offs. I guess you have to keep the camera small and light enough to use it on a drone or here on the Osmo. And another thing worth mentioning is the fan noise. You can probably actually already hear it being picked up by my mic now. It is loud, so if you're wanting to record audio, you're going to have to work around it, and that could be a bit of a pain for you. But you'll have to figure out how you're intending to use this and see if it'll work for you. Apart from that, I've been pretty pleased with the quality of the Osmo. The footage is smooth, and apart from a slight bounce while walking, I haven't noticed any problems there from the gimbal. The gimbal is only stabilising three axis, remember. You could minimise some of that bounce with some practice, though, I'm sure. The video quality seems about as good as you would get from a GoPro or another similar small camera. The 4K is technically true 4K, which is nice, but in practice the footage is about as sharp as good 1080p. But to be honest, the majority of people using this, myself included, will be downscaling to 1080p anyway. So that's not really an issue for me. Now I think this is a great option for people who want some quick, easy, handheld tracking shots but you don't need the quality of a full gimbal system or you don't have time to deal with the extra hassle on set. It is really worth taking a look at this if you're wanting something small, light and simple to add to your kit.